Good morning, everybody. What a wonderful morning it is. It's time for morning manna. Time for morning manna. Let's get right into morning manna on this morning. Happy Tuesday morning. Happy Tuesday morning. How's everything going in your life? I certainly believe that God is still on the throne and everything in your life ought to be fantastic. If not, it's going to get better. Trust me, it is. Now, it's time for morning manna. I'm always going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway. I'm going to give Facebook Live a few seconds to get the audience together. Then we're going to jump right into the word. Now, I'm going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway. Now, what are you going to do in this uh, relationship that we have every morning? Well, you're going to give me the hearts and the likes. It's going to give the amens. That's Facebook amen version. All right. When you get the revelation, you're going to put the revelation in the commentary or in the comments, I should say, so that other people can uh, get the same revelation or an increased revelation. What you got. And then we're going to share, 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 share. You can start sharing right now and uh, just want to just uh, get this word into you on this morning. Uh, how's everybody this morning? What a wonderful morning it is. It's Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday morning. You know, it's the 5th of May. Man, I am counting down to coming out, coming out wherever you are. You know that line in uh, Wizard of Oz, come out, come out wherever you are. I am ready to come out. I don't know about you guys. Hey, but I got a word for you on this morning, uh, and uh, it's the text to talk and the takeaway. Uh, have you ever had FOMO, fear of missing out? Well, this morning, let's talk about fear of missing out faith. You got FOMO faith. FOMO faith. Here it is, John 20, 27. John 20, 27, and this is what it says. It says, then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. Reach out and touch my hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting. Said to Thomas, Thomas, put your finger here. Reach your hand out, put it in my side and feel where things were, where they pierced me in my side, nailed in my hand, and stop doubting. Let's talk about this morning, FOMO faith, fear of missing out. First thing is, in order for you to get faith, you can't miss Jesus' presence. You can't miss his presence. The question is, Several verses earlier, Jesus showed up in the room, appeared to the disciples, breathed on them and said, receive ye the Holy Spirit. The power that I'm giving you right now is a power that you can actually forgive people, which is meaning that you can, because I give you this such power in his presence that you have the ability to discern and tell folk that they are forgiven by him. And where in the world is Thomas during that time? Jesus has to come back again. He has to come back again because Thomas missed out. You need to understand something. You can't miss his presence. This is what Jacob said. Jacob said, I was in his presence and didn't know it. He named that place Bethel. It was the ascending and the descending of the angels. And he woke up with his head on the rock called it Bethel, said the Lord was here and I did not know it. He didn't know it. The only way your faith is going to increase is that you you, you got to have the fear of missing out. You can't miss out. When he shows up, you got to be in his presence. And when you're in his presence, here's the second thing. You got to touch him when he is present. I got to give Thomas credit, at least, that when Jesus says, touch me, come on, Thomas, put your finger in my side. Look at my hands. You can see where the nails were driven through my hands. So it's not just a matter of being in his presence. You got to touch him when he is present. He said, well, Bishop, I haven't been to worship. No, you, you've been in your home right now. In your home, you have to be in the presence of the Lord. You have to be in the presence of the Lord. Because as I said, when Jesus showed up the first time, where was Thomas? He was not in the presence of the Lord. He missed out. Therefore, his faith was struggling. You cannot miss out on the presence of the Lord. Here's the, second, the third thing, rather. Get the revelation when you are in his presence. When the power of God is moving in your home, in your car, 
in the elevator, in your cubicle, at your desk, whatever the case, when, when the power of God begins to move, you have to get the revelation that is coming with his presence. Verse 28 says that Thomas got the revelation. He says, my Lord and my God. Put the two together. My Lord and my God. I acknowledge that you are God Almighty. You know, they had not acknowledged that. They had not put the thing together. Here is Jesus saying, I'm the son of God. Now he is saying, Jesus, you are God. You are God. I got the revelation. So I, I touched you when you were present. When I touched you, it then helped me to get the revelation. And I will no longer be in a situation of FOMO faith because you missed out the first time. Hey, don't you miss out right now. A lot is going on, but you cannot miss out on the presence of the Lord. You invoke the presence of the Lord right where you are. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. The more you are in his presence, the stronger your faith will grow. You're struggling right now with some things, going through some things right now. Get in his presence and watch your faith grow. It will not grow if you're not in his presence. Don't have FOMO faith. Hey, the Lord be with you today. Make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Hey, share the manner, share the manner. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. God bless you. Bye now.